guys welcome back i hope you're doing great and today i want to talk about the colors in PyScript. i hope you're learning from this series and in this video we're going to talk about the colors so there are a bunch of ways that you can use the colors in PyScript, and we'll be going through those in this video and also you need to learn this very sincerely because you'll be using colors in almost all the scripts that you'll be writing so first of all let's go ahead and assign the color to a variable and we can name our variable color variable and then let's assign this variable a color now the best way to define a color is just by typing color dot and then you can hit control space and bunch of options will show up and these are the options that are built in and that are available to you whenever you want to use them for example we can say color dot blue and then this color variable is assigned color dot blue now we can plot this color let's use the bg color function and give it a color of color variable okay so now we have given this a uh, bg color a color variable and now i'm gonna remove this overlay and then let's save it and add this to a chart once we add this you can see that the color of this background has turned to blue as we defined it here and in the version 5 the very good thing is you can just click on this and you can pick the color of your choice okay and you can give it any color that you want to by selecting it and manually controlling it and also you can change the transparency of the color by using this slider here now this is the one way to use color or assign colors in PyScript. the second way is to use the color dot rgb function and that is color.rgb and by doing that we need to give the r color.rgb three values that are red green and blue and those values are range from 0 to 255 for example 0 means 0 red and 255 red means that it's full red for example if i give it 255 and then if i give 0 to green and 0 to blue then the color of this color variable will be all red because we have given the green and the blue a zero value so we can save it and you'll see that this will turn into red as you can see here and the fourth parameter or the fourth argument that this function takes is the transparency argument and we can change the transparency of our color for example i can give it a transparency of 60 and then our red color will become a little bit transparent as you can see here and using these combinations we can give it any color we want to for example if i give it 40 green and 10 blue then you'll see that the color forming here will be uh somewhere in between the red blue and uh, green okay and you can use this slider as well to change the colors and control these values manually and here you can see that we have changed this color now if i save it you'll see those effects here as well so this is another way to use the colors now another way to define the color is by using color dot new variable and this function takes in two values okay two arguments the first one is the color that we want to use and the second one is the transparency for example if i give color dot new a uh, value of color color dot orange and if i give it a transparency of let's say 30 or 20 then this color will turn into orange and now if i save it you will see that this has also turned into orange and this 20 is actually the transparency if i increase it to 80 you'll see that it will become much more transparent and you'll be able to see through it as you can see here so this is another way to use colors in PyScript. now let's go ahead and talk about another way to define colors and that is by using the hexadecimal numbers so we can do that we can assign colors a hexadecimal value and that value will actually be our color for example we can just go ahead and type hash and give it a value from 0 to f these this is also rgb value for example if i show you on google the hexadecimal numbers work like this there are these are six numbers that are red red green green and blue blue and these values range from 0 to 0 0 and ff so these can be anywhere from 0 to 9 and these can be anywhere from a to f 
For example, here you can see that this color here is a hash code of C57162. And to use these, to get these hexadecimal colors, you can use this color picker inside the PineScript editor, or also you can just go towards the Google and type in RGB color picker. And here you can pick the color you want to use. As you can see here, this color is showing up here and the hexadecimal code for this color is this. So we can just copy this and paste it here and our color will be assigned to this color variable here okay so if i save it and let's see so as you can see here this hexadecimal color has been assigned to this variable which we took from this value here we can also change it as we want to or we can also change it here so for example if i turn this into zero zero and here if i also put zero and here if I put FF you'll see that this will turn completely into green because RGB so we have only given the value to G values and other ones are zero so this has completely turned into green so we can save this and add as you can see here the color has turned into green and the third parameter that we can use alongside this is we can change the transparency and that transparency will be by use, uh, using the fourth parameters two parameters in this hexadecimal code so this will be additional two numbers that you have to assign so the best option or the best way to use colors in PineScript I would recommend you is by using this color picker that is built built in inside the version 5 if you're working with other versions like version 3 or 4 this tool was not available in those versions but now it is available with the version 5 update and with the compiler update of version 5 now it's available in every uh, code that you're writing so this is a very good feature and very helpful feature for programmers who write scripts that are visually very appealing i hope you like this video if you have any questions please comment down below i would love to answer them also don't forget to like share and subscribe see you guys in the next video thank you